just before they came to the table, Paul and Ronnie shook hands and I'm certainly said to each other, best of luck. There's got to be a loser, but what a feast of snooker both players have entertained us with today. And it is today, Ronnie stole the honours this afternoon. And Paul, of course, has shown remarkable resilience to come back this evening. And there you are, little smile from both players. As I say, there's got to be a winner. Who it will be, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. Shot of the evening. He's not on the black though. It'll be a safety shot. Thank you. What a shot to take on under pressure. You can see the yellow, but he's got to make this safety. He's losing in the safety battle at the moment this evening. He's got to put Paul under it. Well, surely, surely he's not trying to clip the black in. I nearly fell off my chair there. Ronnie O'Sullivan won. Trying to get. There's a Ronnie fan. They've had some entertainment this evening, haven't they? Well, much too thick. Much too okay. thick. Left a chance for Ronnie. One of the few poor safety shots that Paul has played in the last few frames. Yes. Hit it solid, One. but hit it too hard. And that's why he's not on the black. May have the yellow as a reserve. Just got into the cue ball too much. Well, this is a case of do I or don't I? Do I take the blue on or do I play safe? I think if he plays the blue in the middle, I'd fancy him to pot it in the corner. I'm not so sure. That's unlucky. Far for the kiss on the red. That would have been perfect. He's unlucky there. What a brave Six. shot that was, Willie, wasn't it? Both players, you just gotta take your hat off to him. You know, that's just great belief in your ability to pop balls. But this is tough. Well, that's fantastic. For me, Seven. that was harder than the blue jump. Well, I think Ronnie now has said. I can't shake him off. I'm going to have to beat him off with a big stick. Too wide. Too wide. But it dropped in. It looked as though it had stopped there. But it just 14. dropped in. Gravity took over. I don't think he's on the right. Settle down, please. Three. Well, you have to say now it's gone and he's unlucky not to be on a red. Well, 
What drama we've got here. I wouldn't like to be one of the supporters of either camp. I'm glad I'm a neutral at a time like this. To risk playing a cut black into the pack at this stage was tough. But once he's played and it's gone in, it's quite unbelievable he's not on a red. And the safety's tough because if he runs off down the right-hand side, he's bound to leave this red near the pocket. So Ronnie's just looking, you see, the brown's in the way to leave it right in the jaws. <coughs> Paul Hunter may have a chance at a potable red after this shot. It's key gets it behind the green. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 14. Well played. Did well there. Paul Hunter may be forced into taking the long one on, the one to the left of the blue. He's actually looking at the one to the left of the blue and trying to screw the cue ball back down towards the yellow. That would cover the red over the pocket with the blue, but you, <laughs> this is one of those shots, if you did sweet, you can get it. If you don't, it makes you look foolish. Yeah, I think the cross double on the red near the left-hand cushion. He's just got to judge the weight of this. He could get behind the yellow, but he needs a good length to find the ball cushion. He needs a good length. The pink's going to help. The pink's going to help, and what a length he got with that safety. <clears throat> Magnificent. That's a beautiful shot at first glance. I didn't think he could see that red enough to play that. He's played it lovely. This has got to be so thin. <laughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan's back more against the ball in this frame than it has been throughout the match. He's played some good shots already in this frame. Well, he can't get through to the red near the right corner. He's got a straight red. The red to the right of the blue. <coughs> if he knocks it in, he's got automatic position. But the way the balls are spread, if he misses it, well, what would the cost be? Fantastic. <laughs> One. Well, words can't describe some of the balls that this young man's potting. Under pressure. Remarkable. Yes, he even developed that into almost a shot to nothing, the fact that in potting it, he's just screwed the cue ball back that two inches, just to Six. the red in the middle with the blue. Yeah, but as you say, Will, it's all right when they go in the pocket, but when they're a bit wide, then the cue ball Seven. runs yep. a little bit different. <laughs> That was an unbelievable pot. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, I know who they're supporting. There's still a lot of work to do. This is the deciding frame in a major tournament, the Masters at Wembley. Paul Hunter has already won it twice. 12. Can he make it a hat trick? And as we've already mentioned, John, twice at 10-9. What a hat-trick that would be, three 10-9s. I don't know his father, Alan, has got that much hair because it must be hard work kind of watching his son keep winning 10-9 at the Masters. Where did he get all that barnet from? Oh, has this gone wrong? I don't believe it. 13. Well, I think it went wrong when he played the blue. He played for the red and it was near the pink spot. He knew this was dangerous because it was a red that could get in the way and his worst fears come true. And he won't be taking any undue risks here. So it's only a safety shot to play. What a chance he's missed. Yes, so you can cut thin off the pink on the left-hand side and virtually guarantee getting the cue ball in behind the yellow, but he might put the pink safe. He doesn't pink. really want to do that. 
He wants to keep this pink in play. So he's played the shot. Now does he put the Paul pink Hunter, so 13. Help him? Paul, players have had a reasonable chance to score 40 or 50 points. Bad safety from Ronnie. There's a red that will cut into the right corner pocket, but it's not one you'd want to take on because it's not a shot for nothing. Well, Paul's come round to look at the angle, and if he does play it, it's possible to miss the reds or the black. So an alternative will be what he's looking for. Sensational safety shot. Boy, oh boy, is he producing. He's like Houdini at the moment. Well, this is sometimes when stats tell fibs. If Paul Hunter's not played different class safety to that, it's amazing because for me, he's outplayed one in the safety department. I'd say that when he's played a cracker there. Yes, I think those stats will probably be all the match, of course. I think it's the last few frames where Paul's been asked so many questions and just keeps finding a safety shot from somewhere. And he's found the pot from somewhere. Where's the cue ball going? Not One. in the pocket. And a chance of the yellow. Shh. Oh, dear. This is a tough yellow, this cutback. If he avoids the kiss on the blue, he's going to be on the choice of red. He's got to miss that blue. He's missed it, and he's on the choice of red. Could get three or four reds and colours here. Three. Well, Ronnie sat there and wondering... Four. What's going to happen in the next few minutes? At the moment, amazingly enough, Paul Hunter has gone favourite for the match. Don't ask me how. 11. When he was behind 6 1 and 6 2, and Ronnie O'Sullivan playing, well, just sensational snooker this afternoon. But this lad never gave up hope. Last couple of frames, he's been faced with it, almost impossible positions. He just played 12. the worst positional shot there, John, didn't he, the shot before? Well, it was just one of those things. He just misjudged the bounce off the cushion. I know what you're saying, and that's why he came too straight. He's still got a chance of this black, and you just know he's going to take it on. It's whether he can miss the yellow to get on the red. And he's flicked the yellow. He's still got a chance of a long red. 19. And he can actually play this as a shot to nothing. You can just screw across the face of the red that's above the black. Beyond the black that it goes in. And won't leave anything easy. Unless he misses the red and sticks it. Twenty. Great pot. Great pot. Still a big ask to win the frame and match at this visit. The way the balls are situated. But once again, under pressure, will he? Doesn't he pull them out? Twenty-seven. He can play this red in such a way that he can leave the half ball black and two reds under his cue. There, he'll be able to bring those into play after the next shot. 
28. Too far. He may have to move the run out near the pink. Stop talking, please. Decided to drop on the loose red down the cushion. But if he's straight, it would be tough because the red and pink are in the way to get on the blue. 35. That could be costly. He may have to rely on a bit of luck whether he gets the pink into play here. Yes, that's an option, isn't it? But the problem is with this type of shot, the more pace you put into it, the more likelihood you're not going to get the pot. Nothing Ronnie can do now. He's got to sit there and hope. But Paul Hunter doesn't win frame and match at this visit. And it's a tall order to do so. Yes, he's unlucky. 36. That's almost guaranteed end of break, apart from possibly another five points. And in this situation, I don't think the five points is worth a lot. The only thing you can do is possibly play, pot the blue, get the five points, and but I, would you would you want to bring a red into play, John? Well, the only red he could play safe off is the one that's near the right middle pocket. You wouldn't want to play safe off the two reds stuck together because you're bound to leave one for the chance of a pot. So Paul's thinking about refusing a pot here now. Now there's a couple of things he could do here. He could get one of the other colours safe. He's 34 in front. Get the green safe, maybe. White green in ball. behind the brown. Makes him strong favourite. Paul Hunter, 36. It's a big lead. 34 points. There's 51 left on the table. But with green safe, brown safe. Red near the cushion. Which Ronnie doesn't appear he can get through to. And he wouldn't be guaranteed to get this save playing off these two reds. Oh, but a tremendous shot. Tremendous shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan to keep his hopes alive. If that had gone wrong, he'd have lost the match. What tremendous courage both players are showing under pressure. Needs to avoid both blue and yellow with this safety. Has he avoided them? He's avoided the blue. Has he left the red on? I think he has, but I can only see probably two reds and colours. But he can get back in the frame with two reds and colours. This is a match-winning chance now for Paul Hunter. Shh. Is he on a colour? One. 35 points in front. He needs a colour. And one more red for a remarkable victory. I think he can play the blue slow enough to hold for this well as well, John. And he's the kiss. He's got the kiss. It's over. Well, unbelievable Six. performance. Twice before he's won the Masters 10-9. He's going to do it a hat-trick of Seven. times. He trails 6-1. He came into the evening session 6-2 behind. It went to 7-2. Surely there was no way back. He never gave up. He's made five centuries in the match. 14. Remarkable performance. And Ronnie won't be coming back, John. He's bit his tip off. Yeah. 14. Well, well, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Oh, handing congratulations. Oh, yeah. And congratulations, oh.